At the New York City Student Assembly. At the New York City Student Assembly. We've adopted. We've adopted. The consensus method. The consensus method. Which seems to be. Which seems to be. The spirit. The spirit. Of the Democrat, direct democratic process. Direct democratic process. Of the Occupy Wall Street movement. Of the Occupy Wall Street movement. You probably already know these things. You probably already know these things. But I'm going to go over them. But I'm going to go over them. This is Twinkle Fingers. And this is Twinkle Fingers. It means you're happy. It means you're happy. And you agree. And you agree. This is Downward Twinkle Finger. <laughs> this is Downward Twinkle Finger. It means no. It no. Means no. No. This means, okay, sorta. I'm on the fence. Okay, okay. okay. sorta. I'm on the fence. This is what we use. This is what we use to communicate with one another. To communicate with one another. Because we like twinkling. Because we like twinkling. Um, this, this is a point of information. It's a point of information. You can use this. You can use this to provide factual information. To provide factual information. As long as it's germane. As long as it's germane. To what someone else is speaking about. To what someone else is speaking about. It is not to express an opinion. It is not to express an opinion. Only fact. Only fact. Um, this. This means speak up. Means speak, speak up. up. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. You use that. You use that. You can't hear somebody. You can't hear somebody. This. This is a point of process. It's a point of process. You use this. You use this. If you think somebody's not following process. You think somebody's not following process. Or if they're getting away from the agenda. Or if they're getting away from the agenda. Which we will go over very soon. Which we will go over very soon. If there is a proposal on the table. If there is a proposal on the table. And you disagree with the proposal. And you disagree with the proposal. Very strongly. Very strongly. Then what you can do. Then what you can do. Is block that proposal. Is block that proposal. Please only use a block. Please only use a block. If you are very offended. If you are very offended. Morally, politically, aesthetically. Morally, politically, aesthetically. With the proposal going forward. With the proposal going forward. Otherwise. Otherwise, just use downward twinkle finger. Just use downward twinkle finger. Um, this means. This means. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. We know what you're talking about. We know what you're talking about. We all heard it before. We all heard it before. We all have the same ideas, anyways. We all have the same ideas. Anyways. Don't soapbox. Don't soapbox. Don't be an ideologue. Don't, Don't be an ideologue. Don't be pedantic. Don't be pedantic. Like I'm being. Like I'm being. <laughs> That's all the hand signals. Oh no. This, 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 this means clarifying question. Clarifying question. If you don't understand you don't what somebody's understand. talking about. If you don't understand what somebody's talking about, you can ask them to clarify a specific point. You can ask them to clarify a specific point. We cool? We cool? Oh no no no. This, this means you have a direct response. It's a direct response. You can use this. You can use, use this. If somebody has said something. If somebody has said something. Pertaining to a previous point you have made. Pertaining to a previous point you have made. Do not use this. Do not use this. To interject your opinion. To interject your opinion. Into whatever anyone else is talking about. Into whatever anyone else is talking about. If you have an opinion. If you have an opinion. Get on stack. Get on stack. And we need a stack taker. We need, we need a stack, stack taker. taker. Sean is volunteering to do stack. Sean is volunteering to do stack. So if you want to say something, if you want to say something about a particular agenda item, about a particular agenda item, get Sean's attention. Get Sean's attention. And he'll put you on a list of people who are waiting to speak. And he will put you on a list of people who are waiting to speak. Ah, uh, yeah. In this movement, in this movement, we take progressive steps. We take progressive steps. We do this in order to ensure. We do this in order to ensure that all voices are heard equally. That all voices are heard equally. If people raise their hands for stack who have not spoken, if people raise their hands for stack who have not spoken, either traditionally in movements, either traditionally in movements, or in this meeting. 
for this meeting today. It will be advanced ahead of people who have previously been heard. It will be advanced ahead of people who have previously been heard. So please feel free. So please feel free to get on stack. To get on stack. No matter where you come from. No matter where you come from. No matter who you are. No matter who you are. No matter how confident you are. No matter how confident you are. In what you have to say. In what you have to say. It's very relevant. It's very relevant. We cool? We cool. Okay. We're gonna go over the agenda. So today we have a few things on the agenda. Today we have a few things on the agenda for the New York City Student Assembly. For the New York City Student Assembly, the agenda will be as follows. The agenda will be as follows. First, we'll have report backs. First, we'll have report backs from the uh, various New York City schools. From the various New York City schools who are helping to organize. Who are helping to organize the week of action. A week of action. In defense of education. In defense of education. From November 14th to 21st. We would also like to have. We would also like to have report backs. Report backs from some of the other schools. From some of the other schools who might not be from New York. Who might not be from New York because we've heard. Because we've heard. We have some special visitors. We have some special visitors from outside of New York. From outside of New York. So we'd love to hear what y'all are doing. We'd love to hear what y'all are doing. Um. The second thing on the agenda after report backs. The second, second thing, thing on the agenda after report backs will be breakout groups. Will be breakout groups. Currently, currently, we think we'll have three breakout groups. We think we'll have three breakout groups. One is outreach. One, One is outreach. outreach. So we can use that group. So we can use that group to discuss how better to do outreach. To discuss how better to do outreach for this meeting and for the week of action. For this meeting and for the week of action. And building this movement. And building this movement. The second breakout group. The second breakout group will be a continuing planning meeting. Will be a continuing planning meeting for the week of action. For the week of action. To continue planning. To continue planning. The week of action. The week of action. So that's the second breakout group. That's the second breakout group. The third breakout group. The third breakout group will be. Um, Inter-university inter and cross-state and cross-state student movement building. Student movement building. So y'all who are from outside of New York, so y'all who are from outside of New York, can connect with some of the New York schools. Can connect with some of the New York schools. We can start talking about. Can we can start talking about how to synchronize our actions. How to synchronize our actions. Our aims and goals. Our aims and goals. Our political aspirations. Our political aspirations. And our attempts. And our attempts at bringing down capitalism. At bringing down capitalism. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> those are the three breakout groups. Those are the three breakout groups. And we can have a moment to propose other breakout groups. We can have a moment to propose other breakout groups. At that point. At that point. The last agenda item. The last agenda item. Will be announcements. Will be announcements. So after we reconvene. So after we reconvene. After the breakout groups. After the breakout groups. We will have announcements. We will have announcements. And report back from those breakout groups. And report back from those breakout groups. Does anyone have any problems with the agenda? Does anyone have any problems with the agenda? No. Okay, great. So report backs. Um. Do we have any report backs from NYU or New School students from meetings that might have been held there? Or CUNY or, New or Columbia? We had a general, general assembly, assembly at the graduate, graduate center, center last night. Which was the first one. Which was, was the first one. And uh, we discussed planning for the week of action. We and discussed, we discussed planning, planning for the week of action. We agreed to support the uh, student strike that's occurring on November 17th. We agreed to support the student strike that's happening on November 17th. As well as uh, plan various other activities leading up. As well as plan various other activities leading up to the Board of Trustees meeting that occurs on the uh, 21st. To the Board of Trustees meeting that occurs on the 21st.
Yep, that's what we did. <laughs> Are there any other CUNY schools? Are there, Are there any other CUNY schools? schools? Present here. Present, Present here. here. Um, I've just been reminded. I've just been reminded. A point of procedure. A point of procedure. Is to take stack. Is to take stack. For each individual agenda item. For each individual agenda item. So we will now be taking stack. So we will now be taking stack. For report back. For report back. Please get Sean's attention. Please get Sean's attention. If you have a report back. If you have a report back. Anyone else on stack? First on stack. First on stack. Hi, I'm Mikey. Hi, I'm Mikey. From Movement for Justice in El Barrio. From Movement for Justice in El Barrio. We are an immigrant and people of color led. We are an immigrant and people of color led. Community organization. Community organization. Based out of East Harlem, New York. Based out of East Harlem, New York. We fight for dignity and against displacement. We fight, we fight for, for dignity, dignity and against displacement. And for the liberation. And for the liberation. Of all marginalized groups. Of all marginalized groups. Such as women. Such as women. Immigrants. Immigrants. Gays. Gays, lesbians, lesbians, transgender people, transgender people, indigenous peoples, indigenous people, and all the poor of the world. And all the poor of the world. At, la at last Thursday's General Assembly. At last Thursday's General Assembly. At Liberty Plaza. At Liberty Plaza. We made a proposal. We made a proposal. And we announced an event that we're having. And we announced an event that we're having. This Monday at 7 p.m. This Monday at 7 p.m. It's called. It's called. Dignity is an echo. Dignity is an echo. In the heartbeat of the people. In the heartbeat of the people. It will be a dialogue. It will be a dialogue between Occupy Wall Street, between Occupy Wall Street and our organization, and our organization, and the community of East Harlem, and the community of East Harlem. We want to build bridges. We want to build bridges and overcome the boundaries, and overcome the boundaries that those from above, that those from above impose upon us, impose upon us. They feed off. They feed off, off our, di our divisions as a people. We're passing around flyers right now. And we would love it for you all to participate this Monday with us. And we would love for you all to participate this Monday with us. And also please publicize the event amongst the people you know. Report back. Next on stack. Hi, my name is Dan. Hi, my name is Dan. And I'm a student at NYU. And I'm a student at NYU. I just wanted to tell you all about. I just wanted to tell you all about the student strike on November 17th. The student strike on November 17th. In case you hadn't heard about it. In case you hadn't heard about it. On November 17th. On November 17th. Labor unions and community organizations. Labor unions and community organizations. Along with Occupy Wall Street. Along with Occupy Wall Street. We'll be having a massive day of action. We'll be having a massive day of action. Around the country. Around the country. And students here in New York, and students here in New York, have decided to call, have decided to call a student strike, a student strike on November 17th. On November 17th, we have students from CUNY, we have students from CUNY, the New School, the New School, NYU, NYU, Columbia, Columbia, and many other schools, and many other schools, some of which might be here, some of which might be here who are involved in planning the strike that day. Who are involved in planning the strike that day. We'll be highlighting issues. We'll be highlighting issues. Like student debt. Like student debt. And skyrocketing tuition rates. And skyrocketing tuition rates. The lack of decent jobs. The lack of decent jobs. And 
many other issues. And many, many other issues. Which I'm sure you're all aware of. Which I'm sure you're all aware of. That confront us as young people. That confront us as young people. In the United States and around the world today. In the United States and around the world today. So if anybody has any questions, so if anybody has any questions, perhaps we can discuss them in the breakout groups. Perhaps we can discuss them in the breakout groups. But I'd also be interested in hearing. But I'd also be interested in hearing what everybody else who's here, what everybody else who's here is organizing on their own campuses. Is organizing on their own campuses. Whatever state you may have come from. Whatever state you may have come from. Thank you. Clarifying questions. Taking sex. On the 17th. On the 17th. Students will be meeting. Students will be meeting. At Union Square. At Union Square. At 2 p.m. At 2 p.m. Clarifying questions. Is there a website or an email? Yes. Yes. There is a website. There is a website. Student Week of Action. Studentweekofaction.wordpress.com Points of information? Point of information? Uh, information and a question, I suppose. Information and a question, I suppose. My understanding is that we moved the convergence at Union Square to three. My understanding is that we moved the convergence at Union Square to three. Or that at least some groups are discussing that. Or at least some groups are discussing that. Because the larger action for that evening because the larger action for that evening has been pushed back an hour. Has been pushed back an hour. And there's concern. And there's concerns about filling three hours of time in Union Square. About filling three hours of time in Union Square. Or at least however much time it'll take before we have to leave to get downtown. Or at least however much time it will take before we have to leave to get downtown. Point of process. Point of process. Point of process. This is exactly the type of issue. This is exactly the type of issue that should be discussed in the breakout group. That should be discussed in the breakout group. So we'll leave that discussion. So we'll leave that discussion. The planning of the week of action breakout group. The planning of the week of action breakout group. Point of information. There is an email list circulating. There is an email list circulating. In my notebook. In my notebook. So please sign up for that. So please sign up for that. And make sure I get my notebook back. <laughs> and make sure I get my notebook back. Okay. Any more clarifying questions for the staff? No? Do we have backs. anyone else on staff for the report back? Next on staff. Next on staff. This gentleman over here. This, this gentleman, gentleman over here. here. Uh, from school? I'm, I'm from school. school. We just had our first GA on Wednesday. We just, we just had our first GA on Wednesday. Uh, we're going through with our planning for September 17th. We're going through with our planning for September 17th. September 17th. We're going to have a big showing. We're going to have a big showing. Okay, sorry. Um, regardless, we just need more information and. Uh, regardless, we just need more information from the other schools so that we can coordinate better. From the other schools so that we can coordinate better. Since we are the school closest to Union Square. Since we are the school closest to Union Square. Uh, that's about it. That's, that's about, about it. it. So again, that's the sort of thing. Yeah, and that's the sort of thing that would be perfect for the inter-university discussion. Breakout group, which will happen after this. Breakout group will happen after this. Do we have any more report backs on staff? Uh, next on staff. Next on staff. Next on staff. Is Amanda from CW Post. Is Amanda from CW Post. Hey guys. Hey guys. This past November 2nd, in solidarity with Occupy Oakland, in solidarity with Occupy Oakland, CW Post held a teaching slash demonstration. CW Post held a teaching slash demonstration that went extremely successfully. That went extremely successfully. We had multiple professors and students speak. We had multiple professors and students speak. And began a, uh, an ongoing conversation. And began an ongoing conversation about how 
we can support the movement. About how we can support the movement. And how we can address issues related to our institution. And how we can address issues related to our institution. Locally. Locally. Um, that's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Clarifying questions on that report back? Clarifying question? Where is CW? Is in Brookville. Is in Brookville. In Nassau County. In Nassau County. Of Long Island. Of Long Island. Next on stack for report back. Next on stack is these guys. Next on stack is these guys. Hi, I'm Elizabeth. Hi, I'm Elizabeth. I'm from Con with about 20 other people. I'm from Con with about 20 other people. That's Connecticut College. That's, That's Connecticut, Connecticut College. Uh, over the past few weeks. Over the past few weeks. We've held information sessions. We've held information sessions. A teaching. A teaching. And have gone to the Student Government Association. And have gone to the Student Government Association. With a letter of support. With a letter of support. Based on one developed by other NESCAC schools. Based on one developed by other NESCAC schools. In SGA, we encountered a lot of hostility. We encountered a lot of hostility. But I think, but I think that they're just sore. That they're just sore because we actively are not seeking. Because we actively are not seeking club status. Club status. Because we want to find other avenues. Because we want to find other avenues of influence and impact. Of influence and impact on campus. On campus. During the presentation, we incorporated uh, speeches by students, speeches by students, faculty and staff, faculty and staff, and uh, members of the New London community. And members of the New London community. Uh, if I had one recommendation for out-of-state uh, student groups, if I had one recommendation for out-of-state student groups, it's work with the people in the Occupy movements within your town. It's work with the people in the Occupy movements within your town. Get out of the ivory tower. Get out of the ivory tower. Thank you. Thank you. Clarifying questions on that report back? All right, next on staff for report back. Oh, sorry. Are you guys planning anything on November 17th? Are you guys planning anything specific on November 17th? Now we are. Now we are. Now we are. There isn't anyone on stack. There isn't anyone on stack. If you'd like to get on stack, if you'd like to get on stack, raise your hand. Raise your hand. Hi, I'm Becky. Hi, I'm Becky. I'm from NYU. I'm from NYU. A few weeks ago, we started a People's University. A few weeks ago, we started a People's University. And we've been having professors and activists come speak here. And we've been having professors and activists come speak here. In order to educate the public for free. In order to educate the public for free. Last week, we had one with a hip-hop group. Last week, we had one with a hip-hop group. And it was very successful. And, and it was very successful. This week we have one on Tuesday and one on Wednesday. This week we have one on Tuesday and one on Wednesday. They're at 12.30 here. They're at 12.30 here. Except Tuesday will be in front of the Stern building. Except Tuesday will be in front of the Stern building. Which is over there on West 4th. Which is over there on West 4th. And everyone is welcome. And everyone is welcome. Clarifying questions? Is there anyone else on staff? I have a clarifying question. Clarifying question. What is the website for the People's University? What is, what is the, the website, website for the People's University? People's U. People's U. Dot Tumblr.com. Dot Tumblr.com. Any further clarifying questions? Any further report back? No? I have a question. Clarifying question. Is, are there any other schools here? Are there any other schools who are here who want to be heard or at least introduce yourselves? Uh, my name is Jasmine. Oh. 
My name is Jasmine. And I'm from the University of Hawaii, Maui campus. And I'm from the University of Hawaii, Maui campus. And I'm here to learn and hear what you guys have to say and maybe take it back to Maui. And I'm here to learn and hear what you guys have to say and maybe take it back to Maui. Okay. Hi, I'm Gabby. Hi, Hi I'm, Gabby. I'm Gabby. And we're from Bloomsburg University. We're from Bloomsburg University. In Pennsylvania. In Pennsylvania. Currently, currently, we have an Occupy Bloomsburg. We have an Occupy Bloomsburg. Movement going on in process. Movement going on in process. So we would like to learn from your universities. So we would like to learn from your universities. How to get more involved. How to get more involved. Welcome, we're really glad you're all here. Welcome, we're really glad you're all here. Anyone else want to get on stack? Anyone else want to get on stack? Hi everyone. Hi everyone. My name is Brian and I'm at CUNY uh, School of Law. My name is Brian and I'm at CUNY School of Law. I just wanted to uh, introduce myself. I just wanted to introduce myself. And let you guys know that CUNY uh, School of Law. And let you guys know that CUNY School of Law is behind the Occupy Wall Street movement. It's behind the Occupy Wall Street movement. Um, uh, we sent out a letter um, uh, supporting the Occupy Wall Street movement. We sent out a letter supporting the Occupy Wall Street movement. Signed by pretty much all of the student organizations and many, many students in the country. Signed by pretty much all the student organizations and many, many students and professors. Thank you. Is there anyone else who would like to get on stack? We're going to close stack. Alright. Alright, stack is closed for report back, so there will be more time to introduce yourselves afterwards if you feel so inclined. So next on the agenda, next next on the agenda is breakout groups. Breakout groups. Would someone like to bottom line? Like the week of Action Planning Group. The week of Action Planning Group. So, if you want to be part of the Week of Action Planning Group, if you want to be part of the Week of Action Planning Group, go hang out with Andy. Go hang out with Andy. Maybe on that bench over there. Maybe on that bench over there. For outreach, for outreach, let's say, let's say, we'll meet over here. We'll meet over here. Um, for inter-university, out-of-state, in-state. For inter-university, out-of-state, in-state. Solidarity and network building. Solidarity and network building. Group. Group. Let's meet. Let's meet. Right here. Right here. Are there any other proposals for, for breakout groups that should meet right now? Are there any other proposals for breakout groups that should meet right now? I would propose. I would propose that the time issue for the student strike meetup. That the time issue for the student strike meetup be handled in the week of action planning group. Be handled in the week of action planning group. How much time? It's now 12.45. It's now 12.45. Let's reconvene. Let's reconvene. At 1.15. At 1.15. Here as a group. Here as a group. To report back what we've discussed. To report back what we've discussed. In the breakout groups. In the breakout groups. Make further announcements. Make further announcements. And congratulate ourselves. And congratulate ourselves. Great. Great. Get back in. Definitely being close to uh, I guess I like can like like check. Mike check. Mike check. Mike check. This All City Student Assembly. The All City Student Assembly. Augmented by students from across the country. Augmented by students from across the country. And other allies. And other allies. It's coming back together right now. It's coming back together right now. Please move in closely. Please move in closely. And have yourselves a seat. We'll be doing report back.
Can we have someone report back? Can we have someone report back? From the Week of Action Working Group? From the Week of Action Working Group. Yes. Yeah. Hello. 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 Um, so, the Week of Action Working Group, uh, probably the coolest thing about this one was that we had many friends from uh, other states. Pennsylvania, Connecticut, um, and maybe even a few others. Uh, the first thing we discussed was the time to meet at Union Square and whether it should be 2 p.m. or 3 p.m., given that some of the later actions have been pushed back in time as well. Um, the sense in our group was that 3 p.m. is better. I don't know if we should frame that as a proposal or what, really. Did you, did you come to consensus in your working group that 3 p.m. was better? Yeah. Well, I, I think that that's probably enough because that's the working group that's deciding on it. Okay. All right. So, 3 p.m. Yeah. Unless anyone would strongly oppose to moving the time. We're good? Okay. Um, so, like I said, we had schools from different states. So, a lot of what we did was just discussing and sharing ideas about outreach, tactics, themes for the week, slogans, um, sharing all the flyers, this kind of thing. Um, and what we kind of ended up with is that every school is very different in its circumstances from the other one. So as far as themes and that kind of thing goes, um, we thought it better for the people at each school to decide what their capabilities are and how they would like to run things. Um, we also created an inter-school email list to, in order to share ideas, uh, information, urgent calls, this kind of thing. Um, that's about all I have. Right. So, report back from the uh, Inter-University Interstate Solidarity Building Group. That's what we're calling ourselves. <laughs> so uh, we met, we had um, students who came from NYU, CUNY Graduate Center, uh, Hunter, CW Post, which is in Long Island, someone uh, from people from Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania, and from Connecticut College. Uh, one of the agenda points that was brought up was addressing uh, student governance bodies at your university, uh, including boards of trustees, the student government body, and um, there was uh, one person from Connecticut College who brought up uh, a, a unique system of shared governance, which uh, Connecticut College has. Could you speak about that a bit? Hi, everyone. I'm Ted. Can everyone hear me? Yes. All right. So Connecticut College has, and I believe for a while, has operated under a type of structure that is called shared governance and the college is very very proud of it um, it basically means that every committee and every part of the school that everything that every decision-making body has both students faculty and administrators on it this goes from we have a dining services committee which deals with dining hall stuff to dealing with major educational academic athletic planning all of that has people from everyone. This is not an imperfect or not a perfect system by any means. There are lots of problems. SGA has problems getting its voice to be heard and as well as coordinating it. Um, and the biggest problem though I would say from our end is that um, there's very little staff representation there. We have a very large staff in comparison to our student body and they have almost no voice. It's a problem that we're trying to work on. Regardless of that, I would say we heard from several other schools that have not anything approaching anywhere near what we have. So we feel very lucky. And I would say that you should definitely pursue, try and pursue these sort of models. Get So it's not just getting student representation to the boards, but also getting student representation to every little part of your college and how it works. Thank you very much. It was also brought up um, that CUNY is having a board of trustees meeting in which uh, since it's uh, CUNY being a public school, if a school is public, it uh, has to publicize uh, when it meets and provide a space for voices to be heard like students. And so um, if there is a method at your school to sign up to become one of those voices, that's one avenue you can pursue. Um, Something that was discussed is happening at CUNY is um, uh, trying to get into that Board of Trustees meeting where uh, it's being planned 
uh, to uh, raise tuition, I believe, and um, they discussed having a proposal to, uh, to having a group to protest outside or possibly inside that board meeting. Um, it was discussed other avenues uh, that um, can be used to get it, to garner attention and uh, gain solidarity among the community at your university. Uh, one of these techniques is to draft a proposal or a statement of solidarity principles, uh, which can be ratified and um, contributed to by a plurality of voices uh, in order to um, ratify it and make sure that many voices are represented and that no voices are alienated. And it was also discussed uh, the concern for um, alienating certain individuals or um, groups on campus and that um, neither marginalized voices or dominant or privileged voices uh, or groups want to be alienated from what they believe to be the movement. And uh, it was also discussed that um, the movement uh, garners kind of resistance from people who are from privileged class and don't want to be um, ostracized. We don't want to ostracize them, we want to include them, and so um, the rhetoric could be framed in order to include these people. Um, uh, it was discussed that one group wanted to have a public board of grievances in which the public could uh, write whatever their grievances are on this board for uh, the public to see. But it was also discussed the concern that um, it might become too messy or too chaotic and uh, there might be uh, being a public place uh, where anyone could write it could uh, get messy and um, it was also discussed that when uh, student uh, bodies ha face certain rules from the university according to uh, when they can meet when they can arrange space when they can uh, advertise or post flyers um, and we discussed that people can get around these in certain ways um, if uh, a student group is not allowed to post flyers, individuals might be allowed to post flyers. And uh, where free speech is suppressed, uh, people can circumvent those rules. Any clarifying questions on those report back? It's not really a clarifying question, it's more of a statement. Um, the Board of Trustees yeah, yeah. meeting is actually a public hearing. It's on November 23rd at 5 p.m. at Central College. It's already open to the public. It's like a public hearing. Now, I'm a CUNY student, and the, the issue that you were talking about was we just, we want to. We want Okay, so um, a lot of we're having a CUNY wide walk march <laughs> at Madison Square Park, which is right next to Baruch College, uh, 23rd Street between Madison Avenue and Broadway. And basically, um, it's a public hearing, so we'll be marching to the public hearing. And, and the, the dissonance that I think you were trying to convey is more that we want to have our public testimonies, we want to. We want to share our story as CUNY students, and it's not that we don't want private school students with us, of course, it's solidarity, but we, it's like, it's our time to actually use our voices, because our voices are never heard. So, it's, it, come and support the EA, <laughs> but um, it's just, we want to we wanna be the ones doing the testimonies, that's all. So, 5 p.m. on Monday. Oh, November 21st. Well, we're meeting at 3 p.m. Okay. At Madison Square Park. I have some really awesome posters if you want, and you can take them, and blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, I'm, I'm going to step here. in as facilitator and say, that's actually going to be the first announcement in the announcement phase of this meeting. Oh, okay. It's coming up. So, thank you, Christina, for making the announcement. It was a clarifying announcement. Hybrid. We're also into hybridity in this movement. Right. So, does anybody else have any announcements that they would like to make? So we're closing stack on report back and opening stack for announcements. Sean is taking stack. Please get his attention and raise your hand. Outreach did not meet. Outreach was subsumed into the uh, inter-university inter reaching out to one another group. <laughs> Anyone like to get on stack? Okay, uh, first on stack. Playground for the rich, for the 1%, uh, has locked out 43 Teamsters for the last three months, demanding that they accept uh, major concessions, 
and demanding that any uh, new jobs there be temp, non-union jobs without benefits. And there have been pickets, uh, and Occupy Wall Street has supported this uh, from the beginning. But uh, on Wednesday night, there's one of the biggest auctions of the year. Four pieces of art alone will be sold for $50 million. Uh, just to give you a sense of who might be attending this. Uh, and so there's going to be a huge picket line out in front of it. It's 6 p.m. at 1334 York Avenue, which is in the Upper East Side between 71st and 72nd Street. We'll be leaving from here, Washington Square Park, meeting up at 5 p.m. and leaving to head up there if people are interested. Thanks. Thank you. Clarifying questions on that announcement? Next up, Zach. Um, just one more addition to his announcement about the march today. The theme is Obama, don't be the Big Bang's puppets. So there's going to be awesome, really big puppets there. Um, it's going to be really cool, so you guys should all go. Next on stack? Next on stack is Andy. Oh, um, this is on behalf of the OWS Direct Action Group. Um, they wanted us to let you know that there is a meeting tomorrow 3 to 6 p.m. at 50 Broadway, the 6th floor, for people who are interested in participating in a morning action on the day of the 17th. This would be a direct action. Clarifying questions on that announcement? Next on Stack. I'm about to close Stack because we're going to close the GA. Would anyone else like to get on Stack for announcement? There are uh, two more people on Stack. Stack is closed. Uh, next on stack is Greg. Hey, everybody. My name is Gregory. I live in Manhattan, but I'm a graduate student at Stony Brook on Long Island. And I'm organizing around transit issues. Uh, the Long Island Railroad in particular, a lot of commuters who go out to Stony Brook. Last week, the FBI arrested a bunch of Long Island Railroad former officials and employees for uh, disability fraud. They retired early and claimed false disabilities, and then they were caught playing golf and all this stuff that they weren't supposed to be able to do. And hundreds of millions of dollars are unaccounted for there. And meanwhile, the fare is extremely high. I, ex I spend about $300 a month just on transit to get to school. Um, I know a lot of people here, whether it's Long Island Railroad, Metro North, or MTA, subways, uh, we shouldn't be saddled with those fares when uh, the top 1% and millionaires and corporations are getting tax cuts. You think that they could fund the MTA a little more in this state so that we didn't have to pay so much to burn it on students. So uh, I have some flyers organizing for group occupy the Long Island Railroad, uh, but we're associated with any kind of MTA activities that are going on. So I'm going to pass these around. Um, I just have two quick announcements to make, and then there's one more person on stack. Uh, some people were interested, uh, if you come from other universities, if you'd like to learn about the direct democratic process and consensus building, and how to uh, facilitate general assembly in your community, I'll be uh, hosting a discussion about facilitation training. I'm going to meet over by the arch after general assembly, if you're interested in that. I too have flyers uh, specifically pertaining to today, which is Bank Transfer Day. I'm going to pass those around. Last on stack is Zoltan. Very quick announcement. The um, debt refusal proposal group, um, which is uh, which is being organized by the as a subgroup of the Education and Empowerment Committee down at Occupy Wall Street at Zuccotti, is going to be having a meeting here on Sunday at 5:30 p.m. So if you want to get involved in that process, come here at 5:30 tomorrow and talk about how you would like to see that proposal crafted, um, ideas for the for the debt the debt refusal. I don't run this. It's Andrew Ross and some other people who are from NYU who are, who are running this. So 5:30 tomorrow at Washington Square Park. We'd like to end with a chant. Yes. So if we return, if we uh, can get the people's mic going again, All right, just so we're gonna get me. the people's mic. So yeah, mic check. Mic, mic check. check. Mic check. Mic check. I. I. 
I believe. I believe. I believe that. I believe that. I believe that we. I believe that we. I believe that we can. I believe that we can. I believe that we can win. 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 Is that convincing? Thank you guys. Thank you. The Thank assembly you. meeting is now closed. We'll be here again next Saturday at noon. So come out.